Hey everybody, week, God knows what, 41 or 42, 41 I think it is. Um, just want to give you guys a, a path to some maybe useful information about writing proposals for funding. Again, these are requests that came from amongst you all, the, the, the trainees in this, in this course. Um, but I just want to give you guys some, some ideas and some, some possibilities, and, and I hope it'll be helpful. So I'm going to give you a very short and very boring little presentation, uh, but throw out some ideas of some funding agencies uh, on a global scale, and then some links to some uh, advice about preparing the actual proposals. Okay, so again, this is going to be short, no illustrations, no nothing, just in, in, intended to give you guys some, some uh, ideas you might not have had. Now, obviously, the first thing you need to think about as far as getting funding for your work is to consider your context. What is your uh, national or state science foundation offering as far as funding opportunities? What funding exists at your institution or via your scientific society? And that, that could be an international scientific society that works on your taxon or your region. And these are going to be your kind of home um, opportunities. You'll, they, they should turn into um, your perhaps most frequent sources of support. So please, you know, think about your own context and start working there. Now, here are some uh, more global opportunities that you may know about or maybe not. Um, one is this BID or Biodiversity Information for Development. And I believe this is restricted to proposals from Africa, the Caribbean, and the Pacific Islands. Um, this is administered through Global Biodiversity Information Facility, GBIF. Um, it has kind of occasional calls for proposals, maybe once a year or so. Um, and here's a link to it. Another one is the JRS Biodiversity Foundation. Um, JRS funded the Biodiversity Informatics Training curriculum for now two rounds of uh, courses and such. So in some sense, this course is being brought to you by JRS. Um, JRS, for better or for worse, restricts its funding activities to eat, uh, sorry, East African countries, eight countries in particular. Um, and they tend to have fairly restrictive calls like uh, pollinators or freshwater biodiversity. And I guess I feel that sometimes that's overly restrictive. Um, but JRS is a good source of funding, certainly. The Rufford Foundation gives perhaps smaller sized grants for conservation work. Um, and they do a really nice job of building continuity. So if they give you a grant, and you do well with it, if you make good use of their money, then you're eligible for a next grant and then another. And so it, it really builds kind of experience with, uh, with granting and with reporting and with publishing um, kind of by an incentive system. So a really interesting model there. National Geographic Society, uh, these are are moderate size grants, uh, depending on the opportunity. They have some very specific uh, opportunities, and then they have the general um, explorer exploration grants. Um, and you know, my understanding is they're very focused on seeing developing world researchers approach them directly for funding rather than the funding re request being kind of mediated through a developed world researcher. And then there's USAID, which is the US's um, outreach 
um, and kind of global support uh, arm. I, I mean, the old joke is that the only thing worse than not getting your USAID grant would be getting your USAID grant because the reporting is quite onerous, but there's a lot of money um, and you kind of have to search around for the right opportunity. Um, but these are these are complicated grants. So it is what it is and see what you think of it. So those are just some some ideas for global funding sources. And um, you, you may know of others and, and you know, feel free to post them on the, uh, the Facebook uh, page for this for this course. Um, but then also, once you are ready to write your proposal, be it to one of those that I just showed you, or to um, or to a uh, something specific to your context, uh, then you need to write an effective proposal. And so uh, at this link, um, you you can have access to um, some advice about how to prepare proposals and how to structure them and things like that. It's a little old, 